I'm Vince Laporte. I'm here to demonstrate the materials required to use a yellow common car wash sponge marked here to teach perineal va vaginal laceration repair. This product is a common product in most auto parts store. I bought this one from Menards. It happens to be Scotch-Brite brand. Other brands work equally well. We'll prepare the lacerations, the second degree laceration, and separately the third degree laceration at the end of this instructional video. These are the surgical tools we will be using in this demonstration. Uh, a hemostat, a needle holder, thumb forceps without teeth, and a couple of Alice forceps. These are readily available through eBay. You'll see the resource in the text portion of this video. Additional items required for this demonstration include suture. We use CT1 needles. These happen to be Vicryl sutures, but other uh, sutures are fine. Uh, and CT3 needles. These are available through shopmedvet.com, again indicated in the text portion of this video. A common centimeter ruler, a black marker, red marker, a common Phillips screwdriver, and a box cutter. Here you'll get a nice view of the plywood block. It happens to be nine inches by nine inches. Two cup hooks about three inches apart to hold down the yellow sponge, or in this case, the one inch very soft foam insulator, again from Menards. This is the very soft version, not the stiffer version. Also, this is a strip of Chuck C-U-X pad that would be wrapped around the rectal wall to simulate the internal rectal sphincter. This is a very delicate procedure. It teaches students delicacy in suturing. It's not a great example of a rectal wall. It's way too thick, of course, but the concept of delicacy with running suture is presented here in this form. This is a Galpi retractor. It's an excellent retractor for deep vaginal lacerations. It has sharp points, so it's self-retaining. It's an essential item to doing third and fourth degree laceration repairs. They're commonly available um, and should be in most obstetric departments. This is the common car wash sponge. They're $2 at Menards. We're gonna mark it and cut it. So I'll take my red pen, set your centimeter ruler on the sponge, make a four centimeter red mark on the top of the sponge and a four centimeter red mark down the side of the sponge like this. And you're also going to make a hymenial ring mark about a centimeter from the edge of the sponge. And then you're going to take a common box cutter and you're going to slice the sponge right down the red mark to the ends of the red mark. And this will be our second degree lacerations model. We're going to put it in the plywood holder and use a rubber band to clip it in place. Now this, it's available to suture. Now we'll take the car wash sponge, we'll mark this side three. This is going to be a third degree laceration. We need to mark the top portion of the sponge a little deeper. That'll be five centimeters. And the side of the sponge will mark six centimeters as we need more depth to demonstrate the third degree laceration. We're also going to make a hymenial ring, same place, a centimeter away from the edge. Now we'll use our box cutter and we'll open the incision. To the extent of the red marks and we're going to make a little extra room down here to simulate the area where the internal rectal sphincter will lie. We'll be using this Comfort Seal caulk saver, so called. It's foam encased by a thin layer of plastic. We're going to cut pieces about three inches long, and we'll need two of them. And those will be used to simulate our external rectal sphincter. To add the caulk saver, what we'll do is stretch the laceration open, reach back two or three centimeters, and then push laterally to create a little tunnel 
that we will then expand with a large hemostat and expand this adequately so the foam is not too difficult to drag and then take one of the little foam tubes, grasp it and draw it into the incision so that it's protruding about a centimeter. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Again, take a large Phillips screwdriver and bore a hole through. Hold it open with your fingers while you put a large hemostat in and then stretch. Remember to stretch adequately so we can get this foam to move eventually. Grab that caulk saver tubular foam and draw it also into the incision about a centimeter overlapping. And that's the position for our external sphincter repair. And that completes our sponge simulator preparation. I would like to mark one additional spot called the perineal body just at the angle of this sponge incision. Those are important points. Those two dots have to be reconstructed during the repair and we'll mark that as well on the second degree side. Same location and we'll mark this with a two. This is the second degree laceration. Now our sponge is complete and ready to use.